Yeah, hey Trey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. What did you learn again? What did you learn last year playing playing against Garza that you have to apply this year? Um, you just got to come out hitting first. You know, he's a big dude. Um, he gets to his spots. You know, he's hard to guard. So, um, you know, we, just as a team, we got to do it collectively. You know, shut him down as much as possible. Um, you know, we got to hit, come out hitting first. So. Right. He can obviously step out and shoot threes, too. How do you guys have to deal with that from a team perspective, not necessarily just kind of you and Zach guarding him, but what has to fall in place there if he's making shots? I mean, it's definitely a team effort. You know, uh, obviously, you know, a couple, a couple of our guards would be switched on them at, at some point. So, um, you know, just depending on how coach wants to do it, I don't know if we'll full, full rotate mm -hmm. or I don't know how, uh, but we'll see in practice today. So, right. um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a, it's a team sport. And, you know, it's a, it's a team effort from us. And, you know, we got to do it collectively, so. Right. You guys had a lot of success against them last year. What was kind of what was kind of the key to all of that? Why did you have, you know, how come you guys stacked up so well with them? Um, you know, just our aggressiveness. You know, they just – they want to stay in the game just like us. So, um, you know, we were really aggressive. Um, we, we knew their plays inside and out. And, you know, we just got to be prepared the same way, you know, this year. So, um, you know, going into practice today, you know, try to get the guys going. Everybody has to be locked in, and we just got to be ready to go. Yeah. They obviously play a pretty up-tempo, pretty offensive-driven, high-possessions kind of style. I assume it's your intent to try to stay out of that kind of shootout game, or is it a matter of, you know, trying to beat them at their own game? How do you, how do you have to have success against these guys? I mean, you just got to come out. Like I said, just come out hitting first. You know, you gotta, we're going to treat everybody as a guard. You know, they got a deep bench. Pretty much everybody can shoot the ball. So, yeah. um, you know, we watch teams play against them and everybody just lets them shoot. You know, we've been, coach has been harping on, you know, just don't let them shoot the ball. You know, as simple as that. So, um, so like in today in, in practice, you know, I'm going to try, try to really lock in, you know, trying to get as much as, as much as I can, you know. Right, so. right. Uh, just ever since the second half of the Miami game, you and all your classmates are playing really well. Um, is there causation there? Did did something click after Miami? Matt had 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 some some strong words afterwards. Did anything kind of resonate there for you and your your fellow juniors? I mean, I mean, we kind of talked about it as a, a like upon each other, you know, as a team, and you know, we just gotta continue to feed off each other's energy. You know, we we're capable of doing it. You know, we proved that to ourselves. You know, we beat Ohio State. Um, you know, we had Miami down. 20 some points mm -hmm. uh, before going into the second half. So, you know, we've proven to ourselves that we can do it. We just got to be consistent with it. Does that feel like a turning point of sorts right now for you guys? I mean, it's definitely a turning point. You know, obviously we have, you know, everybody back. Uh, it's good to have Eric and Jaden back. You know, those guys are huge for us, very aggressive. Eric runs the offense really well. Um, and he can go get us some buckets. So, you know, it's obviously it's nice to have those guys back, but um, it's more so just understanding, you know, between each other that you know, we're capable of doing it. Yeah. Um, Matt said after the Notre Dame game that you guys are providing – you, as in the juniors, are providing leadership through action. Do you kind of – have you always kind of viewed this team as a team where the juniors have to perform and then everything trickles down to the younger guys, sort of things like that, if that makes sense? So I'm sorry, say it one more time. Matt said after the Notre Dame game that the juniors are providing leadership through action. Is it? I assume it's important for you guys to kind of to kind of play well and lead, and then everything trickles down to the younger guys. Is that kind of how you view things? Um, definitely, man. It starts at practice. You know, I, I try to get everybody going. I try to get Zach going, and Eric does the same for the guards. So, um, you know, Aaron is constantly constantly talking to Mason. So it's just things like that, you know, just always, you know, picking each other up. Uh, we're doing something wrong, you know, we always tell them how to do it or, you know, the, as best as we can. So um, just from a team standpoint, you know, we're trying to, trying to stay together as much as possible. Like I said, feed off each other's energy. Um, and you just, you know, we always tell the guys, you never know when your name's going to be called. You know, us four, me, Aaron, Sash, Eric, you know, come in as freshmen. You know, we played some big minutes. You know, we had a big year. And you know, like I said, I always tell Zach, like, just always be ready. You know, you, with Coach, 
you just never know. So I'm good. Thank you, Trevio. Thank you. Uh, Mike Klaus, I see you're with your hand up. Go ahead. Trevian, um, I cover Iowa, and no team played better against Iowa last year than you guys did. What were the keys to that, and does it translate to this year? Um, like, like I said before, just knowing, knowing what's going on, you know, always seeing the ball, um, always you know, knowing what, what's coming. Uh, you know, co coach always says you know, they're not going to surprise you. Um, they're not going to shock you. So, you know, we just got to be solid and be disciplined um, and just guard the ball. So. Mike, anything else for Trey? No, thank you very much. Okay, no problem. Carm, you got anything? Yeah, a couple things, Trey. Just uh, based on how you guys played up and down on Saturday, uh, is, that, is that a style of play that you guys feel comfortable getting into? if it would be the case on Tuesday? I mean, definitely. It starts on the defensive end. You know, when we get when we get stops and, you know, we guard our man, you know, the game is fun and we, we're able to get up and down. That's what we want. We want to get layups. We want, we want to be in transition, you know. But obviously, if we have to run a set play, we we got to be able to execute, so. And just the fact that just six turnovers the other night, is, is that a standard that you guys have to have to fall to now or get to? Uh, throughout the Big Ten season to really be productive offensively? Definitely, man. I, I, our coach always writes on the board, you know, our standard is four turnovers per game. So, um, you know, and we're aiming for that. You know, obviously we're building as we go on. So, and we're still learning. Um, you know, guys are still learning spots and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it's, it's all coming together. And we're, we're just going to continue to build on it. And if you would allow me to ask a question for a little bit down the road, uh, with Christmas Day, uh, I know you've watched the NBA on Christmas Day. It is how much of a of a boost will it be just to kind of play on Christmas Day from a college perspective for for you? And I'm excited. You know, it's, 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 I'm sure it's going to feel like the NBA game. You know, growing up, I always watch you know NBA games on Christmas Day. We sit with my family, and you know, we sit there and watch the game. So uh, it's going to be it's going to be special. So, All right. thank you. Anything else for Trey? Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Trey. Trey. Appreciate it, man.